We have 15 days left until Election Day, and huge number of voters across the country have already cast their ballots. Some of them in the Phoenix area say that people with guns and wearing tactical gear approached them at the ballot drop location. Others said they were followed after voting. Arizona is one of many states where Republicans who questioned the fairness of the last election are on the ballot. Nancy Cordes is at the White House tracking the early voting numbers. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nate. And now uh, early voting is underway in 34 states and the District of Columbia. More than seven and a half million people have already voted either in person or by mail. In some cases, smashing records that were set during the presidential election of 2020. In Georgia this weekend, more than 80,000 voters showed up on one day alone, a 159 percent increase from the same day of early voting four years ago. No line. Just present my ID. They process straight to the machines and out. Similar reports are coming in from key states like North Carolina and Florida. Democrats who typically have an edge in early voting have been urging supporters to get to the polls now. I am worried about the level of uh, voter turnout among young people and working people who will be voting Democratic. CBS News has confirmed that behind the scenes, former President Trump has been encouraging GOP lawmakers in Pennsylvania to repeal Act 77, which allows all voters in the state to cast ballots by mail. Publicly, Republicans spent Sunday hammering President Biden on high inflation. His policies have made our economy worse. We brought in over $4 trillion into the federal government's coffers last year. We spent nearly seven. That is literally what causes inflation. The fight is not about inflation. It's about the cost of living. And if you look at what we have done to bring down the cost of prescription drugs, mm -hmm. to bring down the cost of, of energy that has been opposed every step of the way by the Republicans. In Arizona, election officials are concerned about possible voter intimidation in the city of Mesa. Voters say armed individuals dressed in tactical gear set up Friday near a ballot drop box. Last week, voters were allegedly approached and followed. The Justice Department in the past has considered things like videotaping voters, um, taking photographs of voters as they're trying to vote, um, following them uh, as intimidating behaviors. Meantime, a Florida judge has dismissed a case against a man who was arrested by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' election police unit back in August. This man was one of nearly two dozen people who were issued a voter ID card, but then later arrested and accused of falsely voting as a felon who was not eligible. This case was tossed because the judge said prosecutors didn't have jurisdiction in the case. An appeal is expected, but this could set a precedent, Gail, for more cases to come. Yeah, many were surprised by that arrest in the first place. Thank you very much, Nancy. Good to have the update there.